T minus 20 seconds. Stage two tanks pressing for flight. Flight computer has control of the vehicle. Do we see anything on the sensors? That's a problem. man it's kind of amazing that this window of opportunity is open for life to go beyond earth and we just don't know how long that window is going to be open but the thing that gets me most fired up is that creating a self-sustaining civilization on mars it would be the greatest adventure ever ever in human history When the final shuttle mission ended last July for the first time in three decades, the United States had no way to launch astronauts into space. It was the end of one era. And the beginning of another. Instead of NASA designing the next manned spacecraft the White House decided that private industry should design, build and fly it. Opening space to commercial development. One of the companies buying for that contract is SpaceX. Musk is 40 years old a neutralized American citizen and reportedly worth near 255 billion USD. He isn't your typical cooperate CEO. As a teenager he wrote computer games in his native South Africa, before immigrating to the US and to Silicon Valley, where he was one of the most successful entrepreneurs, the co-founder of PayPal. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Elon Musk! Despite a chorus of skeptics Musk build a car company, called Tesla, that turns out 5,000 high-end all-electric cars a year. Another Musk company solar power systems but his lifelong passion is space. And when eBay bought PayPal in 2002, Musk looking for ways to launch his new fortune into orbit. He made three trips to Russia to buy an intercontinental ballistic missile called the Dnepr, 
His plan was bizarre, put a greenhouse on the rocket landed on Mars, and the team packed the picture, it turns out the Nepper was so expensive. His idea never flew, so the Musk decided the only way to get an affordable rocket was to build it himself, and he started SpaceX. Uh, the odds of me coming into the rocket business, not knowing anything about rockets, not having ever built anything, I mean, um, I would have to be insane if I thought the odds were in my favor. Why even begin? Uh, when something is important enough, you do it even though the odds are not in your favor. How much of your personal fortune have you poured into this? A uh, hundred million dollars. A hundred million dollars yes. into something that you did not believe would work at the beginning. Yes. SpaceX housed in a sprawling factory near Los Angeles where fuselages Boeing 747s used to be built from its beginning, 10 years ago its goal has been revolutionary change in rocket and spacecraft manufacturing. Now, tell me, what's that big piece right up there? Um, that's the second stage of a Falcon 9 rocket. Instead of multiple companies building parts all across the country, SpaceX builds most of its rockets and spacecraft in-house, based on Musk's B. Elif that it's more efficient and lower costs, 1400 engineers and technicians work here building engines, rocket space capsules, creating mostly from scratch, the thousands of components that are the guts of a rocket. Musk has college degrees in business and physics but SpaceX is his first venture in aerospace, he bills himself as chief designer and chief technology officer. His team is a mixture. There are newcomers, mostly 30-something engineers, some of them are straight out of the college, and then there are skilled technicians and aerospace veterans, former NASA astronaut Garrett Reisman spent three months aboard the space station and flew on one of the final shuttle missions. Two. One. Four years of starting SpaceX rolled out its first rocket, an unmanned booster called the Falzen 1. Falcon has cleared the tower. But the three first flights failed to reach orbit. Uh, we are hearing from the launch control center that there has been an anomaly on the vehicle. When you had that third failure in a row, did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. I mean, I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. It turned out that the third failure was caused by a two-second glitch in the timing. Eight weeks later Musk bet the company on another flight. We have liftoff. And this time around everything worked out. Perfect. In 2010 SpaceX tested a larger more powerful nine-engine rocket, called the Falcon 9, and an unnamed cargo capsule known as Dragon, it was the first privately developed rocket designed to carry cargo and eventually astronauts to the space station. MVAC ignition confirmed. 3.2 kilometers per second. In its first test flight the Dragon capsule performed flawlessly orbiting the Earth twice before splashdown in the Pacific, the first time a private company had launched and recovered its own spacecraft.